Got some 94 to shove down the throat of the old Chevy Silverado here. I was gonna run her to town to take you to the old transmission doctor to get some tuning down in the old tranny there to get her working right, because I got the engine working right, but I'm still working on the tranny. Stowed for about 10 minutes today, and they just salted the hell out of the streets again. So, guess I'm not taking this to the transmission shop. I did buff the hood though, it looks pretty good, eh? Not too bad, not too bad. Need some more, but it's pretty good. But I'm gonna run to the truck here, because like I said, I got some 94. And we're gonna slap some in this truck, just so it's ready to go for when it's ready to go. Ah, it's a little windy out today. Did vacuum the lawn there, got the lawnmower out for the first time. Gave it a vacuum job, so it looks pretty good. But in here, we should have ourselves a can of 94. It was only $1.74 a liter, boys. That's a liter. So right here is 25 liters. That cost me $43 Canadian. So that's, you know, pretty much just months will bend over and take up the ass, if you know what I'm saying. Nothing wrong with taking up the bum once in a while. So let's get this thing open and we'll slap some fuel into her. She don't really need it, but I just keep her topped up because there's no 94 around me. I gotta drive like 20 minutes to get 94. So I just, uh, every once in a while, fill up a tank of Ruski at the old gas station and you just feed it to it just like this. So I'll sit here for about 20 minutes while this feeds her to it. Doesn't take that long. This is about not quite a quarter tank of fuel in this can. I guess I'm looking at about 200 bucks to fill this at 94. That can't be right. Probably is. I don't know what to tell you. By the way, welcome to life with Belsif. I'm your host, dirty old Belsif. You haven't seen me in a while and that's okay because I haven't wanted to come on in a while to be honest with you. I just do my thing. And sometimes my things, you know, fill in the truck up. Because that's not too bad to do. You can sit here and look at the wind go by and see the birds and stuff. I can hear a couple birds. I can hear the wind more than the birds, though. This tank's getting lighter, so we're almost there, Jim. Not quite yet, though. Let's just hang out here for a few more minutes. Ah, hey, ah. Well, come on already, are you empty? Nope, still going. It's like the Energizer Bunny down here. Oh, there's the end of her right there. There we go. So we gave her a little bit more to drink there. So that should get us in Sarnia anyway. I don't think I'm gonna have to run 94 in this. I'm thinking about, hopefully I'll get away with mid-grade. Maybe. Maybe 92. Yeah, maybe 92. I don't know. Let's put that back in the truck in case I want to get more. I can shut up right now. Unknown caller. I'm unknown caller, you. Hey, how do you like my wire? I got some new wire there from the old Princess Auto. Hey, eh? it was on sale for 50 bucks. So I figured, what the hell? This roll right here is, um, that roll right there, this roll right here is, I think it was $22. So it was worth it. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it through the hole here. It's got a friggin' hole to go in. How do these come apart? Does anyone know? Leave your comments down below. You must need a little, like, a little push pin or something. Let's see if we can figure this thing out. Does this just pop off? Maybe? Well, how the hell does that come off? It's gonna come off. Does it unscrew? No. I don't really know. How many people even use this? I wonder. The hole. Let's see if we can get her through it. Ready? Here it goes. Come on, baby. Come on. Through your hole. Get in there. Come on. Well, that's a pain in the dick. 
Well, how in the fuck does that work? What happens when you run out of roll, you gotta buy a new one? Oh, I'm out of, you know, I'm out of uh, wire. I gotta buy, you know, a new, uh, new thing of wire now. How you doing? Actually, speaking of that, there's fuck all on that roll. What is going on here? Oh God. All right, hold on, we'll get her. There it is. I got her. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Well, there's one. Well, it's definitely 25 feet. They said it was 25 feet. I'd say that's about 10 feet. What do you think? I think they lied to me. I do. Let's roll her back up, Captain. Oh God. What, did, what have I done? Captain? What in the fuck? I'm never gonna. Oh my God. Wow, that was just. Anyways, there's some fucking wire. That was almost too much work. So anyways, where are we here for fuel? Let's take a gander. We should have just over half a tank, ready? Oh, three quarters of a tank. So that actually gave me almost half a tank it did. That's not too bad. Got a little bit of uh, wax on the old windshield there. Like I said, the hood does look pretty good. She's not mint, but she's pretty good. I gotta do the roof though. The roof's kind of cocked over right now. It's really dirty. Look at it. That's what it should do right now, actually. A little buff action. A little wet her down and see what happens. Get a little bit of heat in here. She's kind of cold in here. So first thing you want to do before you do what you're going to do is you want to take a stool, which I got way over here. I can't. Uh, what? Fuck. Grab the, uh, do I not have any left? Spray wax. Hey, listen, speed shield, spot remover. Where's my fucking other shit? What the? Oh, there it is. Why are you up here? Here, prolong the dong. All right, let's get this roof shined up. She's had a rough winter. I haven't touched her since. We'll just get the, some of the spots off her. Maybe. Ooh, she's got some good spots on her, Jim. What is that? What happened? Let's give her another coat. It's gotta be spot. It's just... I'm not concerned, we'll get her off. Let's give her a wipe. There you go, just like that. And then we'll get some wax and we'll give her. Let's use some good stuff. We we'll use uh, Car Show Glaze. I don't need to buff this, or I don't need to compound the roof on the truck. It was just painted last year. So let's just give her a little glaze action. See if we can't get her to shine a little. And let's see how that looks. Let's give her a little white job. Ready? I'm not. Oh yeah. It's gonna need a big white job. It's cold in here. Took the spots right off her though. Look at that, boys, the girls, peoples. That right there is what they call car show glaze. Hey, friggin' right it is, boys. Eh, still got a few little water spots in there. Nothing we can't get rid of though. What's going on with this rag? It's like dicked over. How come the best part of your paint job is where you can't see it? That's what I want to know. Frig. Like, who the heck's gonna see the roof but me? Me, that's who. Just me. Yeah, there's still a few spots in here. We'll get them out though. I'm not really worried about it too much. Holy, that stuff's hard to come off. She's too cold, Jim. Hey, there you go, look at that. That looks better. Now we just gotta do the whole thing like that until we mint. So we'll finish that roof, make her nice and shiny, and we'll go from there. But like I said, it's gonna take the truck in tomorrow for a transmission look at, but that's a no-go on that old because he laid the salt down again, the stupid assholes. So, 
that's what I'm doing. It ain't much. Gotta go in and cook some dinner. My wifey works late tonight, so we gotta get that done. I'm still around, I'm just not around. So hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you on the next one.